We're going to talk about Avatar, and not the one with James Cameron's Blue Rabbits doing it. That's right, I've caught the first four episodes or so of Avatar The Last Airbender on Netflix. And who knew what it would be? I mean, some people knew. And most people didn't want it to be the M. Night Shyamalan, whatever that thing was, which I also never watched. So just to give you some some context, I've, I am aware of what Avatar The Last Airbender is. I'm aware of the flying bison thing, and I know there's a kid named Aang, and he does air stuff, but I've never actually watched the show, like the animated show, so I don't really know that much about it, so when people are talking about comparing it to the original, I am a man with no context, and I have no idea what they're talking about, so I'm I'm trying to come at this with fresh eyes. Someone who is completely oblivious, I mean, vaguely familiar with what the source material is and i'm just going to try to judge it on the merits of what it is and not what it could or should be so anyway i am the man you may know as z from our reviews will kill you uh we do have memberships a dollar helps goes a long way you can join for a dollar there's many different tiers many different benefits go explore them yourself i'm sure you'll find something that you enjoy like and subscribe but let's talk a little bit about this whole avatar business Now, the reviews that I've looked at are all over the place. It's really kind of astonishing how far everyone falls on this. So, but some people have agendas, it sounds like. So let's take a look at this one. Review, Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender is a failure in every way. So this chick, Kelly Lawler, gonna guess who she's, whose side she's on, because... She she doesn't really tell you. She gave it a one star. And she doesn't like the wigs. And she's a diehard regular fan. I'm pretty sure she's probably a fan of Korra. She would prefer to be Korra the Avatar. Which I don't know anything about. But I I have explored it. Now, I mean, I understand what it is. Now, what's the show about? Again, this is from my understanding. There's some kid who bends air, and he's that they all have these superpowers that they can like do a little dance and make a little love, and air does whatever they want, water and fire and earth, so like the four elements. And there's this kid, he's an airbender, and he goes, he's hanging out with his six-legged big bison dude, and he falls off into the ocean and gets hit by a rogue wave ends up frozen in in, he's a he's an avatar sickle so he's a popsicle frozen in the ocean in the meantime the fire dudes have decided to take over the world because there's no avatar who control you know who's supposed to bring balance to the force i guess (laughs) so the avatar keeps everybody in line whoops anybody up who decides to get out of control so With the Avatar gone, the Fire Nation's taken over. Now there's a hunt for the Avatar because the Fire Nation was hoping that by wiping out, you know, there's like a cycle to the whole thing and wiping out everybody, he could get what he wanted. So 100 years later, Aang, who's the Avatar, last airbender, little bald kid with a crazy detailed tattoo on his forehead, wakes up with some Eskimos in the South Pole and the Eskimos have uh there's two kids an airbender and waterbender and apparently their mom died in the war and their dad is gone in the war because there's a big war going on because the fire people want to burn things up fire lord's pretty cool pretty impressive so who does he send to go find the avatar he sends his son prince zuko with his uncle and i really like the uncle i think he's one of the best actors in the show so let's 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 get back to the what everybody else is saying then i'll give you my take on this and again, I haven't finished it. I've only watched the first four episodes. But this lady, she's not happy with it. Why is she not happy? The exaggerated hairstyles. Looks like a corrupted facsimile. It looks too close to the original. One thing the series has going for it is the actors are of Asian and indigenous descent. Just like they're depicted in the cartoon. Okay, lady, how about anyone, whatever, they could be whoever they want to be. It is it is interesting, though, 
that it seems like some of the characters, like the fire um, people, are it's clearly um, like Far East Asian. The earthbender or the waterbenders are Eskimos of some kind. Eskimos, are you even allowed to say that? How about indigenous Eskimian people? And then what about the, uh, and then the the earthbender's a little different. I don't know if they're supposed to be like Indian or Hindi or something. A little different. Don't know what's going on there. So, but they definitely look different. So that's interesting that they actually, the creators of this were like, culturally, it should be different. So that we understand what the difference between the Fire Nation and the Earth Nation and the you know we can get an idea of where they geographically live. Um. So I don't know what what are they? She doesn't have a lot of complaints. She's like, "There's near perfect anime. It's not as good as the animated version." And she's just saying like the people are sluggish when they do their moves. I I don't know, like what. I don't know what's going on why she doesn't like it but she don't like it so let's keep going netflix live action avatar everything the fans hoped it would be this is from uh vox okay this one hugely anticipated remake delivers on the th drama charm and spectacle of the original and i don't think anybody's actually gotten all the way through it i think they've got they've gotten some of the way through it right um, you, you know, so I would say that nobody really has gotten totally away, like all the way through the end, but I mean, for my, uh, for my take, it's not too bad so far. The Nickelodeon version, the original is one of the greatest TV shows ever made. I think that this is kind of like, and again, I didn't watch one piece, the anime either. But I did watch Cowboy Bebop, and Cowboy Bebop was terrible. One Piece was a lot of fun, and it was flawed, just like this is. But I think it's it's a lot of fun. I will say the actors may not be as good in this one as they are in the other one. But let's keep going. I'll get to my opinion. We'll get there. <laughs> Avatar, The Last Airbender, is everything disapp that, that's disappointing about Netflix's live-action cartoon shows. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. They're saying the pacing is an uneven uh, performances leave a lot to be desired. They're hoping it's not going to be a... Uh, they're saying, oh, it's, it's more Cowboy Bebop than it is... than it is um, One Piece. I suspect a lot of these people actually didn't like One Piece. That, that would be my guess. Uh, apparently, there were a lot of changes. Again, I, I don't know what any of them are. Uh, Netflix's last, there, there are more, there's heightened violence. Anytime you show the real world, I suspect you're going to get a little heightened violence. And it was a little shocking to see the fire boss burning people alive. That was, that was a little interesting there. And I guess when you use fire, that's what happens. So it, they are talking about genocide. So it's, it's a little, uh, it's a little different. And then let's just go to the Rotten Tomatoes real quick. 61% on the critic score, 75% on the audience score. They don't have a great breakdown yet. They just have a little bit of, of this and a little bit of that. So kind of mixed. It's not fresh on the critic side. The audience seems to like it, but I don't think enough people have gotten through it yet. What are we looking at here? I think... Well, it won't be as beloved as One Piece seems to be because One Piece has the strength of older actors. These are younger kids, which struggle a little bit. So there's Aang, and there's Kataro and her brother, and I don't remember his name, but he's a dude. Uh, they're, I think Aang is the weakest of the actors, and obviously he's the youngest. And I think Sokka's kind of funny. I don't know if he keeps throwing in like pop culture references for any particular reason, but he definitely says a couple of jokes that I'm like, are you referencing like modern? <laughs> like what? I don't know what he's doing, but I do. I kind of like him. It's a little. In, it's a little weird with the meat cutes with each of the the boy and the girl both meet like a chick and and a dude. I'll say the people in this, uh, 
you know, the acting is it's it's all right. It's not it's not the best. The the little kid's the one that's the hardest to deal with, but he is kind of just the thing that propels the story through and shockingly they all have character arcs they have to go through unlike just watch true detective for six episodes and that had zero character arcs and in this we already have some character arcs going on here between the three main characters which i think is interesting in fact they have to confront difficulties in one of the episodes shocker so so far four episodes in i'm up to the part where i guess they get to uh the earth temple or the earth city and uh, i like it i'm i'm, I'm not gonna say I, I, the, I like the pacing the pacing is good every episode's kept me interested they haven't been boring i like how everybody kind of has their own little reflection on, on their stories it's not as it's not necessarily one piece but i definitely think one piece has its own like weird style going on that that helps it this seems a little more authentic. The CGI sometimes is really good. Sometimes is a little wonky. But it's always... It, it doesn't seem super unbelievable. So I do I do enjoy it so far. Four episodes in, I'm going to watch the rest. And I think, like I said, it just moves. It moves pretty quickly. I would say the story, like, they're flying. And it's weird because they kind of have these episodic like, oh, we'll go here and help some people and learn a lesson. And we'll go here and help some people learn a lesson. It's interesting. Let me know what you guys think. Have you caught any of it so far? Are you an episode or two in? What do you think? Are you going to are you gonna stick with it? I guess that's the real clue. Are you going to finish it? I'm definitely going to finish it. I like what's going on in the story. I'm definitely intrigued. Um, I will say that in comparison to One Piece, this is moving at a faster pace. I felt like One Piece took... Like, once I got two episodes in, I was like, okay, I'm into this. This, I was like, oh, first episode right off the bat. I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. I kind of like this. So maybe just from a... I don't know. From the story standpoint, I found it to be more interesting than like, oh, I'm going to be a pirate. <laughs> like, this one is... Uh, I have to, like, get good so I can save the world. And I'm a kid, and I have to learn some life lessons along the way. And I do like the idea that he gets possessed by other by the previous avatars. I thought that was pretty cool too. So again, let me uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I do read them all and respond, and I'd be really curious to see what you guys think. Is it better than a C plus? I mean, it's not like an A or anything, but I definitely think it's fun and it's interesting. So uh, let me know what you think. In the meantime, catch our full length podcast. It is on here, YouTube, seven thirty Friday nights. We live stream it catch it it's a lot of fun do it with my partner noob noob you'll really get a kick out of him but uh in the meantime i'll be catching more avatar but i'm on to the next one